Hi, this is Craig with Go Engineer. I'm going to cover how to create your own tool crib inside of the technology database. I'll start by launching the technology database. I can do that from the command manager, the NC manager if I right click and select TechDB, or from tools, CAMWorks, or SOLIDWORKS CAM depending on the version you're using and technology database. I'll select an existing tool crib and from here I have the option to create a new tool crib or to copy, edit, and delete an existing tool crib. To create a new tool crib I'll select new. I need to give it a name I'm going to name it Tormach 770 because we just got one installed at our office. Total of stations. This should be the amount of tools you plan on having in your tool crib and not the actual amount of stations your machine has as this number limits you to how many tools you can place in your tool crib. So I think 40 is sufficient and I'll press the check mark. Now I need to start adding tools. I will press add and choose my first tool. I'll select flat end mill. I now have a list of tools to choose from. I'll select an eighth inch end mill and press select. It's also a good idea to give it a station number and anytime you make an edit over here you need to press save so that it updates. The station number can be changed later on it's just a little bit more tedious. We can also assign a holder to this tool by pressing this icon and it'll bring up a list of holders again that I can choose from. I can click on one and press select and that will assign the holder to this tool. Again I need to press save. I'll add a ball nose. Again from the list I'll select a 9 16 Press select. I'll assign it to station number 2. Press save. And now, when I go and edit the machine definition and go to tool crib, I now have my Tormach 770 tool crib. I need to press select. And here are my two tools. I hope you enjoyed my video. And my name is Craig with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching. <laughs>